Okay, this is lesson five in the angles unit. We're talking about parallel lines day one. Okay, homework that goes with this is nine and ten. Tomorrow we will start with our angle naming quiz, and we're doing that until everybody gets a hundred. You are on page nine in your note packet, and at the top of page nine, you have this diagram. Okay, guys, we are learning a bunch of names of angles today. You got to pay attention to this because this the names should make sense. Now, if you look down at the bottom of the paper, you have these names corresponding. Same side interior, alternate interior, same side exterior, alternate exterior, vertical angles. Which one of those right now do we already know? We already know vertical angles, don't we? Okay, so jump down to the vertical angles part. See, it's the bottom right. Tell me. One pair, and I'm going to write it up here. Vertical angles. I'm writing it there, so I'm writing at the same time as you. But you guys get that it's getting filled in down here, right? Give me one pair of vertical angles. It should be written like this. Angle 1 and angle 4 are vertical angles. That is correct. Give me another pair of vertical angles. Angle 2 and angle 3. Give me another pair of vertical angles, Haley. Good. Angle 6 and angle 7. And give me another pair of vertical angles. Last pair. Angle 5 and angle 8. Okay. Now, I'm going to erase this. Don't we also have linear pairs up here? 1 and 2 are linear pairs. 2 and 4, 4 and 3, 1 and 3, down here, 5 and 6, 6 and 8, 5 and 7, 7 and 8. Got it? Now, one thing that I forgot to mention early on, because we jumped right into the angles. Do you see these two little arrows right here? Those arrows show that I'm going to call this line A and line B. Line A is parallel to line B. You need to know this no notation. Line A, these two little arrows show me that line A is parallel to line B. You should rewrite it. Put an A here and a B here. Line A is parallel to line B. <laughs> this line is called a transversal. We say these are parallel lines cut by that transversal. That's why you'll, you'll hear people talk about <laughs> parallel lines cut by a transversal. And you know what is so super awesome about this? We already know how to fill in all of the angles, okay? Let me show you something. Well, let's talk about the names first, okay? Do you see the two parallel lines? Here's our two parallel lines. In here is inside. This is inside. So what are the interior angles? Now, yeah, what are they? Tell me the angles that are interior. Everybody. Three, four, five, and six are interior angles. Outside the lines from here, here. What are the exterior angles? Exterior is another word for outside. Correct. Okay, so interior, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Exterior, 1, 2, 7, and 8. Easy words, right? Okay, now, our first list that I want to do, see where it says same side interior? Same side interior. Make sure you are on the right spot. Same side interior. You see where we are. The words tell you. Same side means same side of the transversal interior. What's one pair of same side interior? Angle 3 and angle 5. 
And what's the other pair of same side interior? Angle four and angle six. Guys, these angle names are really easy. Do you see why those are called same side interior? All right, let's jump to same side exterior. Make sure you are filling these in in the right spot. Who can give me a pair of same side exterior? Very good. Angle one and angle seven. Very good. What's another pair of same side exterior, Haley? Very good. Okay. So same side interior, same side exterior. The words really tell you where they're located, right? Now, let's do alternate interior. Alternate interior. Now, think about what we did for same side interior. Same side was three and five and four and six. Same side interior. What do you think a pair of alternate interior would be three and four are a linear pair they are not alternate interior you're on the right track then those are two interior angles three and four are a linear pair they are not alternate interior very good angle three and angle six are alternate interior they are on the inside on opposite sides of the transversal give me the other pair of alternate interior well yes angle four and angle five alternate interior make sense now isaac said three and four he got the alternate part right or no i'm sorry lucas three and four he had them on opposite sides, but aren't these a linear pair? Yeah. A linear pair is not alternate interior. All right, let's go to alternate exterior. Okay, alternate exterior. What do you think? Angle one and angle eight. What's the other one? Angle two and angle seven. Now, the last type, I'm going to give you a Terizzi definition for this, corresponding. This is, this is the most important thing that you need to write down. We've got corresponding. This is a fact you need to know. Corresponding angles are congruent. I gotta write that over here. Corresponding angles are congruent. That means they're equal to each other. Now, this is a Terizzi-ism. You are not gonna read this in anybody, any book, or any book anyway. Corresponding angles. I'm gonna put this in quotes above it. Same spot different clump same spot different clump write that down corresponding angles find a space on that paper corresponding angles same spot different clump and they are congruent now this is my top clump. That's my top clump. This is my bottom clump. I've got two clumps in this picture. Now, look at this top clump. Isn't angle one in the upper left corner? So the spot for angle one is upper left. Same spot, different clump. What does one match up with? down in the bottom clump yes the first set pair of corresponding angles are angle one and angle five 
make sure you're listing these pairs. Angle one and angle five are corresponding. How do I know that they're not alternate interior? Well, isn't one exterior and five is interior? They can't be same side interior because one is outside and five is inside, right? Corresponding, same spot, different clump. What is the corresponding angle to angle two? Angle two corresponds with angle six. Angle two is in the upper right of the top clump. Six is in the upper right of the bottom clump. Again, those are not same side angles because two is exterior and six is interior. Okay, give me another pair of corresponding angles, Nathan. Angle three and angle seven. Angle three and angle seven. And last but not least, angle four and angle eight. Corresponding angles, same spot, different club. Okay, now let me show you something. This is where I actually think that this topic is a very easy topic for kids. Angle two is obviously an acute angle, right? So I'm just gonna wing it, and I'm gonna say that that is 60 degrees, okay? Let's fill in this entire diagram. If angle two is 60, what is angle three? If angle two is 60, what is angle three? You're not listening. Let's start again. If angle two is 60, what is angle three? 60. Why? What are those two angles called? Vertical angles, and we know that they are congruent. If angle two is 60, what is angle one? 120. Why? Because these two are a linear pair or supplementary. They add up to 180. If angle one is 180 or 120, what is angle four? 120. At this point, we should all be able to fill a clump in easy, right? Now, when you have parallel lines, this only works if these two lines are parallel. You can take this slot clump and slide it straight down. If angle two is 60, what's angle six? 60, because corresponding angles are congruent. Slide it. 60, 60. 120, 120. Now, here we go. There's only two types of relationships in this picture. They are either congruent or supplementary. Now, I have to think of this picture. If I said to you, same side interior angles, same side interior, are they congruent or supplementary? Look at the picture. Same side interior, right here. Bingo, bango. Are they congruent or supplementary? Supplementary, 60 and 120, they add up to 180. Alternate interior, bingo, bango. Are they congruent or supplementary? 120, 120, they're congruent. 60, 60, they're congruent. What if I said same side X? Interior. One and seven. 120 and 60. Is that congruent or supplementary? Supplementary. What about alternate exterior? Congruent. <laughs> All right. Now, here we go. We are on page 10. And again, I am going to leave the diagram up. Okay? Angle one and five, number one, angle one and five, let's look where they are. What are they called? Look at the picture. What are one and five called? One is exterior, five is interior. Are they A, corresponding, B, alternate interior, C, alternate exterior, or D, same side interior? Corresponding, same spot, different clump. Corresponding, upper left, 